morning, you guys. I literally had to go put a brush to my head because it just wasn't happening. But my best friend is coming into town next week and then she's gonna stay for a week so she'll be here for like Halloween weekend we're gonna go to Houston for a couple of days and then it's also one of my other friends birthdays next Friday so long story short next week is going to be a pretty busy packed fun week for me I ordered my Halloween costume I'm gonna be a pirate this year you guys I think the costume's gonna come out so cute. Some stuff looks better on paper, so we'll see. But anyway, with that being said, I have a couple of like maintenance appointments. Not really that many. I just need to go get my hair done today. So we're gonna go get this hair braided later on. And then I want to get my nails done. I wanted to go this morning, but I didn't really wake up early enough. So I'll just get them done tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna do like a Halloween themed type of nail because my nail tech like he keeps asking me to bring a design like he wants to do a design so bad and I'm like you better not be practicing on me you better want to do a design because you like to do design because you know you can do designs <laughs> made a relatively large breakfast this morning. Some French toast, eggs, fruits, and my little iced coffee. I unfortunately did not have milk though, but I was like so set on having French toast. So I used some vanilla oat milk creamer as my replacement. So hopefully it turns out fine. I think it's gonna be okay, but I just like to have like a larger breakfast before my hair appointments because I know I'm gonna be sitting there for hours and the last thing I want to be is hungry. However, we did unfortunately receive the Hey Girl text this morning. So I'm not going to be getting my hair done today. She just asked if I wanted to like push my appointment back a few hours, but it would have been 4 p.m. and then we would have been there all night and I just didn't want to do that. But I prefer to have my appointments in the morning anyway and I'm off tomorrow, so. It'll just be a little change of plans, but let's try out this little oat milk creamer French toast. That's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I might have just did something. Hi, hi girl. Hey. I just had my floral consultation. Uh huh. Went well. I wanted to ask your opinion. I ran out of milk today and I wanted French toast, but I forgot that I didn't have no milk. So I used my oat milk vanilla creamer. It's so good. It's so good. That's why I always take her through for real After this time I'll be through for real I'll be doing shit I really shouldn't do for real That's why I always take her through for real After this time I'll be through for real
they have a cute little bar stool here but it's literally only one probably order some more but i don't i don't know why i'm so picky about my bar stool like it's the one thing that i just can't find one that i am in love with even this like i feel like this is cute but it might be too short or it doesn't look like it's gonna be super comfortable like the back isn't very broad or wide or anything so i need to just get this honestly the first time ever that I've been able to sit down at my freaking counter. I just got this little black foldable freaking stool just so I can have somewhere to sit down. Like even when I'm taking calls for work or on Zoom meetings or my therapy, when I'm sitting down to eat, like I just have absolutely nowhere to sit down in this house unless it's on my couch or on my bed. And it's been three months. It's been three months of that and I was just over it. I couldn't find a bar stool. I still have yet to find bar stools, but at least I can sit down now. I also got these cute little pink socks. I really didn't need these, but they were only $5 and they're super soft and they're just adorable. I also haven't shown you guys my nails yet, really. He did a great job. He really ate down. I know I was talking a little bit of crap earlier talking about how he always be asking me to bring in a design and so he better do it right since he asked but he definitely delivered I usually don't get almond nails the last time that I did get almond nails I didn't really like them but these I can get down with this so anyway I got those socks I got this pink bodysuit and they had so many other colors so hopefully if I like the way it fits I definitely want to get some more colors got this little surge protector extension cord for my bedroom and then the real reason the real real reason that i went into target was to get this book that's called the purpose driven life but after my therapy session a couple of weeks ago i shared with you guys that my therapist had asked me what my purpose was in life or what my mission was like why i felt like i was here and i just didn't have an answer and then afterwards i went to go journal and i pulled like a self-care card out of this deck of cards and the first card was literally asking what is your mission in life or what is your purpose and that has just been a very reoccurring theme for me that i'm seeing like on instagram or just when i'm talking to people talking to my friends in conversation. And then I went to a coffee shop the other day with my friend Zaire and she was reading this book that's called A Purpose Driven Life. And I was just like, okay, if it's not a sign, I really don't know what it is. I think this book is kind of a faith-based book. It's also broken down by days. So you're only supposed to read like once a day and it has like day one, day two, day three. What is, how many days is it? It's 40 days. So you just read, and I think each chapter or each day is only a couple of pages. So I just wanna start reading this, taking some notes, highlighting it and see if it helps me kind of like figure out what my purpose is or what I feel like I'm here for. I've always had like several interests. I've always had things that I'm good at, but I just feel like I haven't been able to get a grasp on exactly who I want to be or who I want to become. So maybe once I figure out my purpose, then I can figure out who I want to become. So I got this little book. I'm really excited to start reading it and start diving deep in this. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go shower, change out of my clothes, and start reading my day one. This shit was all I know. You and me only. I did it all for you. Still, you were lonely. Yes, 
things change It's funny how someone else's success brings pain When you're no longer involved, that person has it all And you just stuck standing there, but I'm gonna need you to say something, baby Say something, baby Say something, baby. Say something. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I'm gonna need you to say something, baby To a condo downtown, cause it's all about location I sit and drink wine and watch Californication of life You should have been here to kick it with me We could have split this whole thing up 50-50 But now I'm at the 40-40 getting bitches tipsy Killing We're in prison right now That's posting more than you They're more consistent than you <laughs> You have nothing else to do Posting every day, five times a day, ten times a day mm. Making their money on And what you doing? You gotta think about it. You really do. They could be soaking and they could be making mistakes. They could. You can tell me that you never heard none of my songs. As long as you end up saying one day you plan to listen. Cause what's the start when it's most important man is listening? Hair is done. I'm a brand new woman, even though I got the exact same style that I have been getting for the last couple of months. But we got some baby hairs. Look at my edges, y'all. She twirled them up and everything came out super cute, as always. We added a little bit extra curls this time, but I'm sure they'll end up flattening out some with time. If you've ever had boho braids, you know how it works. It kind of looks a little bit bigger always on the first day. But once I go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to relax a little bit. But mm, can't go wrong. I almost got blonde. She was like, girl, you should have got the black girl blonde. And I was like, I know, I thought about it, but I just feel like the blonde hair is so summer and I'm not feeling the summer vibes right now. But I unfortunately have an hour drive back home. It should literally take me 30 minutes to get back, 40 at the most, but Austin traffic especially it's literally 5 p.m. on a weekday so honestly I have no hope I'm thinking I might oh my gosh like you guys this is literally this is what traffic looks like in Austin Texas like I don't know if I want to wait an hour or so for the traffic to die down or if I should just sit in traffic for an hour and be at home, so. I think I'm gonna get something to eat first. I'm literally starving. I'm gonna get something to eat, let traffic die down a little bit, and then maybe it'll take me 45 minutes to get home instead of an hour, I don't know. Can I have a number one with no tomato and grilled onion? Thank you. Y'all, I don't know if I've ever ordered In-N-Out at the window. Like, I don't know if In-N-Out is just not as popular in Texas or if this is just, I really don't know. But that was new. Like, they always, always have to have people outside walking down the lines to take our orders. And I hope they take our pay because maybe, I don't know where my wallet is at. Hi, Hi good, how are you? I'm good, I have a double 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 Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Me too. Bag secured. I need to stretch right now. Stopped at this little dessert shop that's called Pie Bar. 
My stylist actually recommended it to me the last time that I came. And then when I got back, one of the first things she asked me is if I had tried Pi Bar. And I was like, no. And she was like, why? <laughs> because I literally drive past it all the time and I just haven't gone because when I looked at the menu, a lot of their stuff was like mousse pies or like cheesecake with mousse on top. And I'm just not a huge fan of mousse. So I was kind of sus, but she said it's really good. So I'm just gonna give this a little shot, a little taste test. I don't wanna eat the whole thing because I did just have in and out and I had French toast for breakfast earlier, so it's just really not been the best eating day. Mmm. Oh my God. That actually shocked me how good that is. Okay. Okay, pie bar. Well, wow. delicious. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, my body is literally hurting from sitting in the chair all day. And then on top of that, I haven't been to the gym since Friday. And it is Wednesday. Unintentionally, I just didn't feel like going to run club on Saturday. Sundays, I usually take rest days. Monday, I ended up taking my hair down. I thought I was getting my hair done yesterday, so I just didn't work that into my schedule. And then obviously I didn't wanna like sweat out my freshly washed hair before my braid appointment. So we didn't make it yesterday. I had a Pilates class booked this morning, but obviously I had a hair appointment. And so here we are. <laughs> I so desperately want and need to move my body a little bit to stretch, to do something. So I think I'm just gonna leave this little outfit on, maybe put on a sports bra, keep on my yoga pants, throw on some tennis shoes and just go down to my apartment gym for a minute. I don't care if I walk on the treadmill, on incline, the Stairmaster, pick up a dumbbell, stretch. I really don't care what I do right now. I just desperately need to move my body. in my eye Ugh. my big old head I literally have to I literally have to hold the camera so far just to get my head in the frame <laughs> I literally have been sleeping like a freaking rock like look at my bed literally the whole other side of my bed is still made up <laughs> she's still folded like I get in here and I'm stiff as a board for eight hours. I started taking this magnesium with ashwagandha before I go to bed. I really don't even have to say a lot. Like the proof is in the fact that my bed is still made up. That's how good I've been sleeping. I also, for the last two nights, when I read my book before I go to bed, I make sure that I read it and that I don't pick up my phone. I don't watch TV or anything. Like I'll read and I'll put it down and just allow myself to process and go to sleep on that and I don't know. I've really been enjoying that. So <clears throat> I 
I'm hoping that I can stick to reading this book for the next 40 days every night before I go to bed. If not, every night just at some point throughout the day. It literally takes maybe five minutes to get through each chapter, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Here's my little outfit for the day. It's finally sweater weather out in Austin. It was kind of cold yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. And I think the high today is only gonna get up to 75 or 74. So I have on this pink bodysuit that I got from Target the other day. And then I just threw on this big oversized cardigan from White Fox, a pair of leggings, and then the little pink socks that I got from Target too. I also got a new bag. My other one, she really served her purpose, but she was tired, she was giving worn out college student and I wanted my bag to give more like grown woman who works remote. So I went to the outlet the other day. I don't even know what this bag is called to be honest, but it's like this purplish brownish color on the inside. I have my snacks in here and then I can fit both my work laptop and my personal laptop in this little zipper pouch. So yeah is gonna be the little look for today. something right now almost like 8 30 and I genuinely just don't know where the time goes like the days just fly by I'm just I'm having such a hard time lately I'm not gonna yie I'm not gonna yie <laughs> I don't know if it's genuinely like I just cannot do as many things in a day as I need to or as I would like my schedule is just so freaking off I never go to the gym at night and now I'm about to go to the gym at night again. And I was thinking maybe I should just not go tonight and then go again tomorrow. But I literally have just, I. <laughs> oh my God. When I say there's literally just not enough time in a day. I have work for one that takes up a huge bulk of my every single day before i know it it's 8 p.m again <sighs> but i'm trying and that's that's the best i can do right now is just 
freaking try. Like content really is a full-time job on top of my already full-time job. And then I just, I have a life to live outside of that. Other things happen. I need to take care of myself. I need time to like go to the gym. I need time to eat. I need time to cook. I need time to clean. I need time to do everything. And I just don't have enough time to do everything. I literally can't even imagine what my life is gonna be like when I have children. Like, <laughs> please. But I am gonna go to the gym tonight again. I'm not gonna film because I really just want to get in and get out. But I already had my caffeine earlier today, so I don't wanna go with any caffeinated pre-workout, of course. So we're gonna use this little non-stem Oxy Shred. Y'all already know the drill. This is my fave, my go-to, the Raspberry Kisses. I actually think I like the strawberry one better than the raspberry, but we're just gonna have this one today. I genuinely never thought I would see the day that I actually enjoyed eating a salad. But when I tell you guys I've eaten this at least four or five times for dinner this week, like I finally cracked the code. I got it down, I figured out what I like. I learned literally just last year that the main reason I didn't like salads was because I was eating them without dressing. <laughs> So my sister gave me a salad with dressing and I was like, wait, this is actually good. But I've just been seasoning my chicken with these two seasonings from Trader Joe's. It's called Green Goddess. And then the other one is the citrusy garlic seasoning. Put those two seasonings on my chicken, add some boiled eggs, a little bit of lemon juice and some Caesar. And I don't like, mm. hold on, let me get a good bite. It's just so freaking good the little peaches and cream barbie olipop my taste buds have finally matured 25 almost 26 years later like i've literally never liked salads or really any type of green vegetable in my entire life we don't know how i made it this far but i'm here so <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my little dinner. I've got Love is Blind running in the back. I'm gonna read my little chapter for the night and then call it a freaking day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed spending the last couple of days with me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.